Hi, you are joining me on an absolutely glorious late afternoon here in the South Wales Valleys. We are back doing another hill walk. Another hill from the miners list, which is my list of the, uh, the best hills in South Wales. About 40 hills on the list so far. Um, all of them really good. And with this one, we are starting, but you see behind me, at the Giant's Bite, just above our Abercunnan. And we are heading along the ridgeway towards Twin, Twin Brynbacken. This is just over 400 metres high. It's got a trig point, it's got some kind of communication tower up there. It's a really good hill, so hopefully we can have a pleasant walk up. I've not walked it from this way before, but I've seen a lot of people have, so it should be a good route. Now, I've got a much bigger pack on than usual because I'm also planning to wild camp up here somewhere tonight, and that will be uh, a separate video. So if you want to catch that video, subscribe to the channel, check out my wild camping playlist and have a, a watch of that. But right now, we are going to make some progress and crack on with this hill. So this hill, it's not a long walk. There's not too much ascent because you're already starting quite a long way up. There is parking on the side of the road for about two cars on the tarmac part. But if you've got a car with a bit of ground clearance, then there's actually like a, a rocky little car park that would fit quite a few cars. But uh, <laughs> I didn't dare take my car into that because uh, I suspect I might have scraped it a bit. So you can uh, park it here reasonably easily and the car will take a lot of the strain of the ascent out of this hill. So you're largely sort of walking a little bit up to the ridgeway. You can obviously explore uh, Giant's Bite as well. It's a really good place to look around. And uh, yeah, it should be quite a nice little walk. It shouldn't be more than five or six miles tops there and back. And uh, certainly so far, paths are really easy to follow, really wide, very smooth, very short grass. So yeah, it should be an easy one this one. So far I've seen one other person, just a dog walker, very friendly, said hello. <laughs> Exchange pleasantries, what a great evening it is. But actually against this wall, which we've been following for quite a long way now, it's incredibly sheltered up here. The uh, wind that was hitting us at the start is now little more than a tiny little breeze. Nice classic long stone wall that's in pretty good nick most of the, of the way. 
so we're not too far now I don't think from the final little bit of ascent up to the trig point so so far we've done just over 700 feet of ascent but obviously I've been there uh, pottering about back and forth with the camera took a detour up to a different crag so we're not talking horrific amounts of ascent for most casual walkers it should be absolutely fine this hill and the benefit of starting where we started great views from the off the Giant's Bite is a good little place to explore of as well. So I think this is one that really deserves its place on the miners list and uh, is well worth visiting. Because I know when we get to the top, the views of the central Brecon beacons open up and they really are spectacular. Finally a gap in the wall and look, Cribbin, Penavan, Corndy, Central Brecon Beacons through there. And then you've got, and I think that's Munaf Kilvacarensel in front. And then the one to the right of that is Pengarn Bugal, which we did in the miners list in the last hill. So <laughs> we're now two valleys over and two ridgeways over from there. And just look at those views right the way south from the trail we've come up on. Whilst I remember, if you want to see any of the routes I've taken, where to park, uh, distances, the scents, all the rest of it, the full track, then do visit my website, thewalkingkev.co.uk. Link will be in the description as well. You'll find there the complete list of the miners. But you'll also find loads of other walks in South Wales. Um, you can look at them by county. You can look at them by difficulty. So you can, you can filter by easy, sort of medium, strenuous, all the rest of it. Um, you can look at features, so like ponds, canals, pubs, cafes, um, stuff for the kids as well, parks and play parks and nature trails. So hopefully I'm gonna try and build over the next few years a really good resource for anyone who wants to come out walking no matter what your ability so there are really really easy walks of a mile on flat ground there are challenging mountain walks and obviously there's all of these hills which do completely vary in terms of how easy they are to complete Temperature is dropping rapidly in the shade. So we're approaching the, uh, the final bit of ascent now and that warm up a little bit. So we've got this final bit of ascent on some rocky roads behind me up there, rocky paths. Joyce, how do you know? until it's too late. I just walked up this trail and there's no signs at all until you get to the top of it.
Here we are, the summit of Twin Bryn Bakken. It's a really nice hill, this one. There are amazing vistas in each direction. And there's a little bit of view south as well through the trees. Um, but yeah, it, has, it is topped by quite a big comms tower with a really big razor wire fence and stuff. So that's uh, not the most scenic uh, spot. And I sure, I remember last time, it was a lot sort of flatter up here. The grass is a lot flatter. Um, but there's definitely a lot more bike trails around this time. So I think um, South Wales is kind of a really, really popular spot for mountain bikers. This is just another example of one of the uh, ridgeways that's now covered in cycle uh, mountain bike routes. But 411 metres, so it is a decent sized hill. Not the biggest around here, but it, uh, it's up there. Yeah, really, really nice hill this one. A really um, pleasant, relaxing walk up. Extremely peaceful. I mean, I know it's a Thursday late afternoon, early evening, so I do expect it to be slightly busier on weekends and stuff, but no, an absolutely lovely walk. Nothing but the sound of bird song and the, and the breeze, slight sound of the A470 in the distance, but um, no, really good hill, decent little trig point. <laughs> well worth doing. So slightly different other videos, obviously we're not going to do the walk back today because I'm going to find somewhere to camp up here tonight. Um, but do stick with the video because there will be hopefully some different views tomorrow morning, hopefully a nice sunrise, um, some nice clouds and stuff. So wherever we do end up pitching, <laughs> I'll film back to that point and obviously I'll film tomorrow morning as well. Undoubtedly some amazing Instagram spots. <laughs> Loads of crags off the edge of a sheer drop to stand on and take photos of and stuff and take photos of yourself on. So yeah, if you're into Instagram and that kind of stuff, a bit of social media, you want to share some nice photos like that, great peak to do. And a really nice little uh, tricky walk along the uh, craggy edge to try and find someone to pitch a tent, but sadly, Nowhere really realistic to pitch a tent. So we are back at the crag, which we've been able to see since the moment we parked the car. And hopefully we'll find this pitch that's the uh, right direction so I'm not uh, head down and I can keep the uh, door open looking south for the sunrise if we get one.
as you can see I did uh, I did camp overnight so we're finishing this walk the next morning you'll see the lights completely changed <laughs> I'm much brighter as well um, really really nice walk this one the only shame is it's not um, it, it's a really nice walk to keep going on so once you get the twin brin back and you can walk on the long bridge way to um, Menif Gefin, which is a quite a big hill, well into the 400 meters, um, it's like 470 something like that. It's a it's a pretty big one, um, and then you can carry on the ridgeway all the way to Menif Abadair, which has absolutely amazing views of the Brecon beacons. You can almost see the whole lot of them in a landscape sweep. So I don't know if you could work out a way of starting here, walking right the way to the top and then dropping down to Merth or maybe getting public transport back and then sort of walking back up the hill to your car that'd be a really really nice route but I'm not sure people want to walk it up <laughs> and then straight away back on the car although you could I guess you could drop down to the um, Taft Trail and walk back on the Taft Trail if you wanted um, but yeah some definitely some really good routes up here it's a really nice Ridgeway walk so highly recommended So we're pretty much back to the Giant's bike now. Been a really good walk this one. I would say it's suitable for, for most walkers. The distance isn't too much. The ascent's not, uh, not too steep at any point really. So I think uh, the paths are good. So yeah, highly recommend a little Ridgeway walk. Good hill, nice trig point. And uh, the Giant's bike is well worth a visit as well. So definitely do have a play around there when you do visit just uh just be careful because i have some uh, pretty big sheer drops down to uh, a rocky bottom you don't want to fall off one of those anyway you can catch the rest of the miners on the miners playlist you can visit our website thewalkingkev.co.uk to look at all of the routes more details on them and stuff where to park and all the rest of it but yeah huge thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one